Today I'm going to continue talking about how to do animals whiskers. Today we're going to talk about a whisky uh, process and that is using a sharp extra knife and to do the scratching. If I am going to cut this way and I would cut through the paper. I'm going to do it sideways and also when you scratch it you want to keep it just on the surface of the paper. You don't want to get it too deep and then the paper also get pretty bad, can ruin it. So let's take a look. I'm holding it tight. Just a little bit at a time. You want to hold on, scratching in the same position. It says scratch right on the surface. If you want it to be a little bit wider, you can expand it to scratch. Here you go. This is how I scratch it. Uh, first, you don't want to cut the paper. You want to use this sideways. Also in this lesson, I'm also going to talk about how to use wet into wet. Also use splashing water into the wet paint to create texture. Let's take a look. I'm going to first use a blue color. If I want this color, I'm laying the blue color. But I want this color to be merged into the other colors so without a defined edge between the two colors. What I'm going to do, for say I'm going to take, I'm going to take a red color now. With this continuous process, I wash my brush, I also can put, say, a yellow color. This is a very good technique for doing it for the background. I'm going to put my hand into the water. Now I'm going to do this. Could be interesting textures, make you feel like snowing, make you feel like there's something in the background that I'm clear. Let's take a look how to use these techniques in my painting of a cat. For this painting, I'm going to use uh, Arches watercolor paper. Arches watercolor paper is very doable and you can use all scratches, uh, scrape and all the tough techniques and you handle it pretty well. Add a little bit more blue starting from the top. Right here. Okay. As you start coming down, I quickly adding a little red color to here. So the color change. Going to get a little bit more red and add a, a, some yellow color to it. And can I get some yellow color from quickly from this side? Okay, here we go. I have this kind of color and I'm connected. I'm going to leave the eye there to be untouched. We have to do it really quick. I'm going to add a little bit more water as it let it continue come down. And down here, maybe let's keep it going down. I'm going to probably lift, use the uh, lifting off technique to create a little light down here. I need to make some darker color for the catch the shadow area. I'm going to create some texture to it. So I'm going to use a little water. That is like half dry already. Uh, since the wet is coming down from the top to the bottom, I'm going to flip a little uh, sparkle. And I'm going to create some kind of uh, une uneven um, but interesting texture to the background. If something go wrong, it's fine. We have technique, we'll be able to correct it uh, later. At the corner of the eye, it's going to be some darker color. Create a little kind of cooler colors for the cast shadow to define it. We have not done enough. I can merge that into this color, it's okay. 
Now let's create a catch to shadow. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I use a little, even a bigger brush. It's just to make that to be more connect with the outside. You can use this side. Just blend that color to it. See that? It's a very little effort you put into it. It's already fixed the problem. Just take it out over here. But I'm gonna leave the white dot. The white dot is right here. There's a black area, I need to, dark area, then I need to put it in, but I'm not going to do it right now, I'll do it later. i take off some of the color, doesn't need to be there. Okay, now I'm going to start moving on to some other area here. Here it has some connection between that color. I'm going to start adding some color, take and add some color, so make it a little bit more realistic to the reference. Okay, now I have some wet area here, and I could add some detail into it. Now is the step. We can add some detail color to it, make a little darker purple colors. Now start over here. A little bit of pattern. Okay, have darker color in this area, including down here. Down here, I have a little darker tone, and I could add some pattern, some small shape down here, suggesting the hair. So, you, it's good that you do this that when this is kind of wet, and it will be much easier. Do a little blue color in here. It looks like it catch the shadow a little bit too warm. So we're gonna take this time to add a little blue colors on the top. Okay, that the catch the shadow could be finished at this step. Get it in this area. Okay. This is the exacto knife that I'm going to use. I'm going to do a little over here. Get down here, and the second one is up here. And there's another one this way, and couple, and get down over on this side. I can also scratch some area over here, a few, very small one, and also scratch something uh, next to the ear to create an illusion for that. And be a little careful when you scratch this. There's not much room that you can go back to uh, if you do something wrong. So be really careful about this. this. Is really what you need to do, and try not to scratch too deep into the paper. Just scratch the surface. Okay, and that 
is good.